Hi, I'm Claire. I'm Meg. And I'm Dana. Our lab started in January after I moved from MIT, and we work on the parasitic Toxoplasma gondii. Toxoplasma infection is usually asymptomatic, but it can have devastating consequences in pregnant women or in immunocompromised people. Toxoplasma is arguably one of the most successful parasites in the world. It infects one in three people, as well as any warm-blooded animal and even any cell type. But pathogens normally infect only one or two species. How can toxo infect almost everything? Good question, Batman. To be able to survive in all these different environments, toxoplasma must be very adaptable. In our lab, we are studying how toxoplasma can adapt to changing levels of iron. Huh. A billionaire in a stupid suit. I hate that guy. Iron is essential for almost all cells, from bacteria to mammals. But too much iron is toxic, and so it must be stored safely so it doesn't lead to the death of the cell. We are studying how Toxoplasma is able to take up iron, use it, and store it. And to do this, we use genetic and biochemical approaches in the parasite. My project is working on an iron transporter that we think is important for storing iron in Toxoplasma. But the identity of most of the proteins involved in iron transport is still unknown. These processes are well studied in other species, so why don't you know which proteins are involved? You're right, Elsa, but Toxoplasma is highly divergent from our usual model organisms like vertebrates, yeast and plants. Finding new genes and proteins when you're not sure what you're looking for can be tricky. Have you tried using penguins? Ah, ah. No. Luckily, we have a technique to screen all of the genes in the toxoplasmic genome at the same time. Using Cas9 expressing parasites and a library of guides against the entire genome, we can screen for toxoplasma genes that are required for survival in high or low iron environments. Then we can study these genes and find the pathways toxoplasma uses to safely utilize iron. Yay! As well as investigating the parasite, we are also interested in how it modifies iron in its host cell. Iron is very important in the immune system, and mammals carefully regulate iron availability during infection. We would like to find out how this regulation affects toxoplasma growth. Hello, I'm Georgia, one of the immunology team here in Glasgow. My group is investigating how you get exactly the right strength and flavour of immune response for different pathogens, and how the pathogens adapt to avoid these immune responses. Toxoplasma's control of iron has another really interesting implication for parasite survival. Many immune cells are dependent on iron for their function, and the immune system cannot seek and destroy invading pathogens without access to iron. We're also working towards understanding how Toxoplasma's consumption of iron might affect immune defences and immune evasion. And by investigating these questions, we will learn how Toxoplasma uses iron, and how it adapts to different conditions, and even how it changes the environment around it. To answer these questions, we use a number of techniques, including tissue culture, molecular biology, including lots of CRISPR-Cas9, flow cytometry, microscopy, and many more cellular and biochemical techniques. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.